The first component of a network and the most famous component there in these days, not in the old days. In the old days, that was not the, the most famous actually. Uh, it was the most expensive, the rarely seen, rarely used in local networking. Yes, do you remember the room or that local show that I told you about in the previous video where you and your friends go to play some video games, each one against the other? At that time, this device was not used at all at that shop. They used switches and hubs, actually. Hubs, bridges, and programmable switches, programmable switches, generations of evolving. The final thing was something called switches and multi-layer switches. But leave that, just leave that. Sajjad is doing so many annoying talking. Okay, let's talk about routers, the most famous nowadays. Routers are network devices that connect different domains, network domains, and route the IP packets to its correct destination. What does that mean? Let me tell you something important. When you have your computer wanted to be connected to another computer, each one of you in a different location, perhaps a different room, or even in the same room, it's not prohibited, it depends on the design. When each one of you would like to communicate with the other one, let me tell you something to be honest, there is nothing called having a real cable. If you have seen cables before, I will assume that. If you have not, then I will have videos for cables. Then it's not like really having connecting these two together and that's it. Now they can send emails, now they can send images, now they can play video games together. It's not in that approach. You will need a network device in the way. A network device, not a computer, a network device. It's either a router, a switch, a multi-layer switch, a bridge, non-programmable switch, a hub. Wait for it. All of them will be explained. So if it was a router, then this is the symbol or the icon of the router. And Cisco would like to draw it in that way. Like two arrows coming inside, one arrow, two arrows going outside. And if you have noticed, this is the symbol of my channel. It actually looks in that way. This is the router, it's this one. <laughs> so you have these arrows here, and this is the symbol of a router that I've chosen for my channel. It was developed after so many uh, awful designs. Yeah, things will not start from professionalism from the beginning. Anyways, so the router device is a network device that is able to connect you that you are in something called a domain, a network domain, to that other guy that is connected to another network domain. What does the word domain mean? A domain means a network. A domain means, actually in English it's only domain, like if it was in another language then I would translate it, but in English it's a domain. Like when you think that you are sitting in a room and your domain is the radius or the area of that room. So whomever in this room are guys or engineers or users that are in my domain. So when I talk, let me tell something different. If I right now was talking to another person, if that other person was sitting close to me, then it, sitting like in the domain of my voice or in the domain of my existence, then when I talk, the other person will hear clearly. It's the other person is in front of me, so that other person in my domain of speaking, so the other persons will as the other person will hear me clearly. But if that person was living in another street, and right now I am sitting here talking, blah, 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 etc., definitely that other person will not hear a single word because the other person is in very far domain from my domain. This is what a domain means, okay? A range, an area, a domain. What I would need actually at that time is a mobile phone, like, or a real old phone, so that I will give a call. Hello, how are you? Now you can hear me. Yes, now the, that other guy can hear me by using a networking device, mobile phone, a computer, a laptop, calling via Skype, Zoom meeting, Cisco WebEx, etc. So I needed a network device to be able to reach another person in another domain. This is the idea of the domain. So the router is the first device that is able to connect two people, two users or two computers to make them participate in one network even though each one of them is in a different domain. They are far away each one from the other. So this will be the router device. The icon looks like that and it can be always draw 
in that way you can draw it in that way this is how i will use it throughout the course and uh, you can find it in that way in the exam in the lab in the topologies in the blueprints etc but of course when you go to real life routers will look like that this is the smallest routers available right now they are called a one rack unit router or one rack unit device this is where it has the thickness of an inch it was an inch right it was a little bit more than an inch actually yeah and i will give you that correct actually because i don't want you to watch a ccna course and you get an incorrect info this is a disaster because this is your very first uh, time studying uh, studying networking so one rack unit uh two inches yes it's four 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 point forty five centimeters so that will make it one point zero how did i forget about that i did answer that correctly in the design exam it's one point seven five inches equals to four point forty five centimeters so it will be that much this is a one rack unit so this is the thickness of a one rack unit device why there is something called an RU a rack unit because from now on this will be the measurement of the thickness of your device whatever your device is whatever the model the company etc all those companies worldwide there are Cisco systems from America Juniper Networks Arisan and Aruba from America there are Huawei from China uh, there are Nokia from Finland there are Ericsson from Switzerland all of those guys is creating all of the same devices some of them creates courses publish books create give exams some of them only create like uh, manufacture devices and that's it but eventually in the end all of them are doing networking each one of them has a unique operating system with them some commands and hands-on labs that are different from the other one in the end they all of them produces routers all of them produces switches most of them produces multi-layer switches layer two switches firewalls and all the different types of device all different types of devices that i will talk about in this video will be there and in the end why i was mentioning all of these countries and these man uh, companies etc because all of them manufactures and measures their devices thickness based on their rack unit because mostly you will go to purchase when you create a room for devices you will go and purchase a 42 rack unit um, length so like it can hold a 42 devices that has the thickness of a one rack unit so these two routers here are the simplest actually to be honest this guy i know this device here it's called the cisco aggregation services router it's an isr so it's a cisco from a router from cisco and it has the model of 1001 because it belongs to the one thousand series of devices all of these belongs to the one thousand series of routers from cisco this guy he's here is a two rack unit this one as well these two are 1002 asr's 1002 model uh, 1004 uh, 1006 i believe 1006x 1009 my favorite my favorite because i have worked with them a lot and i love both of them and I believe 1013 as well. So all of these are different routers from Cisco. But since this course is created in 2021, right now what Cisco have, they have an ASR 1000 series of routers. They have an ASR 9000 series of routers. They have the Catalyst 8000 series of uh, routers as well. They have the NCS 5000, uh, not 5000, yeah, they have 5,400, 540, 560. But actually, delete the numbers because whenever you read an NCS, it's a router from Cisco. Whenever you read an ASR 1000, it's an R, so it's a router. But there are all currently only the 1,000 and the 9,000 as routers. And in 2021, actually, and in 2020, I believe, the Catalyst 8000 routers were published or were announced officially. So this is a new fresh generation of routers. They support the new evolving technologies and they are planning to take out 1001, 1002 from the market because they are about to produce the 8500 series. Yes, I remember something else, which is called the integrated services routers. And these are another line of productions from Cisco to produce good 
medium capability routers the rsr but the asr is the most is the high end and the ncs is the most expensive the 8000 comes with 8500 which is the most expensive 8300 should take place of isr kill some models of the isr and there's something called uh, a catalyst 8000 v and we will leave that later to the virtualization video okay so again there are routers uh, devices connecting different domains and route the ip packets because because right now you are talking to someone who is very far and you will need a device in the way that you will take your voice the packet that came out from your mouth and redirect it to the correct destination to forward it to the correct destination so that it will correctly reach the other end which is the other mobile phone or the other router on the other end that is connected to your friend in that way your friend will hear you so that was the concept of routing and routing what routing an ip packet that came out of my mouth an ip packet is not actually something that's really going out from my mouth this is just an example but we will have a chapter for ip packets a complete chapter if you ever encounter this question of each interface in a router is a broadcast domain what do i mean by broadcast domain a broadcast domain is a network a broadcast domain is a domain a broadcast domain is one isolated individual network each broadcast domain is one single individual network that sees its own locally connected devices only right now i'm in a room let okay i'm alone actually but let's assume that there are five other guys are sitting here all of them are in my domain so this room this room is one single broadcast domain all the devices inside the room all the persons or users they can communicate together directly by using a switch that i will talk about in a minute but they are not able to reach their voices or to deliver anything outside the room without a router so each interface in a router is one individual dedicated broadcast domain and this router is able to re receive a packet from a domain forwarded to another domain received from this domain forwarded to the other and so on and so forth so this video so far is 12 minute but before I finish it, I would like to talk about switches because switches will not take a lot of our time since we have already interpreted the routers. Switches are network devices that connects two or more devices, okay, in one network domain. This is how a switch looks like after it was evolved from a hub and a bridge. Leave hubs and bridges. Don't give yourself a headache. It's 2021. Then don't waste your time studying devices that have been obsolete for more than 10 years from now. Don't waste your time, please. Okay, because you will never encounter them. They are not being uh, manufactured at all uh, uh, nowadays. Okay, so switches are devices. And by the way, yes, switches looks that giant. But they still have one rack unit, two rack unit, up to half a rack switch just like routers they look like routers you might misunderstand that sometimes you might see a device and you don't know what is that actual okay so no you need to know what's that is it a switch or is it a router you need to know it from two things number one the model i have told you the famous models of or actually all the models of cisco routers and i will tell you the switches as well in a minute but it's important to know routers or to differ routers from switches differentiate Switches are two devices connecting a device that is connected to users or two computers or two de network devices in the same domain. Now we go back to the local shop of that guy that have connected six computers together to play video games between them. That guy at that time connected you via a hub that was later become a bridge that was later become a, became a switch and now worldwide if nowadays there is a shop that is doing the same thing this guy now will only do a switch this guy will need a switch and it will connect the six guys that should look in that way in the topology this refers to a user and this icon refers to a switch this one so a switch connecting six, six users and these six users mostly they will be in the same room locally they will be able to connect to each other and they will start um communicating networking okay and there's something called a multi-layer switch uh, mls a layer 3 switch all of these names for one single device what is that 
actually this device that has this icon that looks like a sun inside but it's not a sun this device is a hybrid solution produced by Cisco and some other vendors that is a router and a switch in one single device so this device can route and can switch this device have ports for routing and ports for switching and you might think that you are not really getting the idea no problem whatever whatever thing that you are not getting completely in this chapter you will get it in chapter two three and four these are the chapters that will really polish your knowledge about routing and switching and then we will continue the interpricing of chapter five security chapter six wireless chapter seven automation and programmability but the first four chapters chapter one is only theory chapter two three and four will polish and will con complete everything that you need to know about classic networks so switches just like routers but they are used for local connection so if you do not have a very far person that you would like to communicate you only want to communicate with some close guys a switch is enough the second thing that i wanted to tell you tell you what is the difference between a router and a switch is something called port density when you look to routers you see that routers here look like this router here has eight ports this router has around 16 around 24 no ports if you wanted to add you might add an up to a maximum of, of 12 only a uh, few ports no ports like really no ports no ports you need to add them you need to add them and even if you add it you will not reach the maximum of 100 or even 48 port at all this is calling a low port density you don't have a lot of ports and i will have a video for what a port means but here look ports 100 port more than 100 port ports everywhere the entire interface of the device of the switch is ports ports boring ports so much ports yes this is what a switch is about so the main differences between routers and switches switches have a high port density compared to the routers and number two the series the models right now worldwide Cisco have the catalyst 9000 series of uh, switches catalyst 3000 whatever series of switches like 3800 3700 3600 3500 all of these four will be obsolete in the months from now but will be replaced by catalyst 9000 like 9200 9300 and only because and there is 9400 500 600 800 for mixed devices most of them are wireless devices that we will talk about later again so these are the new series of devices there is the catalyst 8000 the old i'm sorry catalyst 8000 switches there was like 8500 switch and nowadays there is the catalyst 8500 routers so because the 8500 is is very old so no it will no longer be seen in the market uh there is the catalyst 600 as well 650 and the eight uh 8050 the six thousand five hundred uh eight thousand five hundred uh switches four thousand yes there was the four thousand as well like four thousand five hundred and four thousand nine hundred all of these are switches and the very first series of catalyst 2000 all of them catalyst 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 unlike these routers that had asr ncs isr what is the difference the difference is that actually when cisco wanted to manufacture switches they did not start from scratch they acquired catalyst company for switches and they named it the cisco catalyst that is the trick okay so routers switches should be enough for this video i need you to think about that when you end the video and before you start the upcoming upcoming one because in the upcoming video we will continue talking about more devices coming in the way thank you